what's going on YouTube welcome back to another Black Ops 4 video and look at this screen I came on today thinking yep I'm gonna stream I haven't streamed in a little while but no apparently PlayStation's been down all day so I've decided what I'm going to do is go into some customs and do a bit of a sniping tutorial okay so what I'm going to try and show you is a quick few basics to begin with and then a couple of mid to advanced shots things that just all of it requires practice but things that I've, I've learned along the way <clears throat> that have helped me a lot and things that some people have asked me questions about which they didn't know um, if we go to my class this is what I've got Paladin, High Cal 1 and 2 Sight Loader for quick reload and Gung Ho and Dexterity <clears throat> so let's get into this hopefully for the first part I don't have enemies coming up to me because I want to show you what we call centering so centering is having if you can see the the white crosshairs on the screen where's a good place to show it good dark background there okay somebody shoot me that's that centering so these white lines here centering is having your enemy is this in the center of your screen so that when you scope in the enemies there so that is centering it took a bit of time usually as you practice muscle memory will take over and you just do it straight away but if I try to do it I don't know if I'll get it right but usually when I'm sniping it just happens so if we try and aim for this tree try and center for aim in should be on the tree so when you're there's a there's three good examples there so as you've noticed I don't use stabilizer feel free to use it because it does help with long range shots it reduces this sway you could always press L3 for PlayStation and hold your breath but it's quite hard to do that hold your breath and move at the left and right at the same time and aim because my centering isn't where I'd like it to be and it won't always be perfect sometimes you'll have to do that and drag scope so we'll see if I can give you an example of drag scoping so that is essentially drag scoping but because there's no aim assist you kind of have to time it perfectly so these are more this is better if you can if your centering is good like this there was a drag scope there's another drag scope oh imagine so that was a good example actually of centering but the main thing is it comes with whoa that's got range it comes with practice so practice with bots practice in multiplayer it might not work out great straight away you will get beaten a lot but eventually you'll get used to it okay just kill me he's taking his time bloody hell see this guy's centering is bad there we go okay so we've gone over centering centering and pressing L3 to stabilize your shot unless you want to use stabilizer and you can still hold your breath um, or if you don't want to use stabilizer you won't need to because if your centering's on point for aim for that tree every time you scope in it should whoa he killed me quick look he's aiming at this guy every time you scope in it should be on the target so that is the main thing you want to practice the next thing we're going to look at is jump shots 
you want to obviously do it while you're sprinting, you can do um, normal jump shots where something like this, if there's a guy there, you see him, you jump up. So you want to scope him first, jump, and then shoot, jump, jump, shoot, like that. So you, you can use your cover to your advantage. Or you can do something like that. Now, actually, it's very important for me to mention at this point that I use a scuff pad. So my left paddle is jump, and my right paddle is slide. So it makes it very easy for me to keep my thumb on the aimer and jump while I'm and aim while I'm jumping. So jump shot is another thing you just have to try to get used to. It takes into account centering. So you wanna center. See the I had to adjust my centering slightly as he moved. That comes with just trusting your reactions to kind of take over to adjust the aim enough for you to land the shot but where did he go you can do it without a scuff pad you don't need a, a scuff pad oh my god right so I forgot I was getting carried away there so I'll go into another game which you'll see on the next screen now. Okay, so the first time I forgot that I only set the score to 30 so I've increased it this time so I don't run out of kills before I've explained everything to you guys, my bad. So we've gone over centering, uh, quick scoping, holding your breath to stabilize your shot for long range shots, drag scoping. Um, and we've looked a bit at jump shotting so I'm gonna try and show a bit more so if we can line up some guys here get the centering done and take a shot while jumping where is this guy shooting me from like that center the opponent then jump and scope as you're on your way down or kind of at the height of your jump is when you want to scope like that find a couple more people and then we'll go into different types of jump shots jump shots is something I'm yet to master I do surprise myself with some of the shots I land but it's just something you have to practice I have to practice it you have to practice it it's just something we all need to practice bit of change of scene scenery what we're gonna try and look at now is leading shots so let me just get this guy out of my way leading shots is predicting if a person's running it's predicting where they're going to run to and aiming there instead of where they currently are he's actually shooting me so if he was running sideways to the right I'd move my scope ahead to the right like that instead of there and then following him to the right I'd aim there if I assume that's where he's going to go. That's an example of leading shots. Was that guy over there? If he carried on moving, that would be an example of leading a shot. Like that. See how I aimed slightly ahead of where he was running? And there slightly ahead of where he was running so that by the time I scope in they are at the point where I'm aiming like that I wasn't aiming at his head so lead your shots like that predict where they're going 
aim slightly ahead of where you think they're gonna go and by the time you scope in they should have crossed your scope and I right, twitches like that or like that just to adjust to hit the shot so other than leading shots you've got no scopes which I barely use it's more of a panic move if somebody's right up in your face just press the trigger button and hope <laughs> it's kind of just a hope unless you've got like double laser sight but see that you just gotta hope it's, it does involve centering but sometimes the bullet can just go to a completely different planet where it looks like it should have hit the person so no scope is more of a a panic move as you can see those just aren't landing whereas the other ones did so the closer you are the more likelihood you've got of landing the no scope because they're covering where your bullet could spread to one thing you need to I need to mention is when you shoot your sniper does go up so if you're constantly shooting you can see that my shots are going up I'm not just to my aim and slowly you can see the shots are just making their way up so I can't reload anymore so what you need to remember especially if you're going for more than one kill and well you've seen more than one enemy when you shoot someone remember to bring your aimer back down I need this guy to kill me remember to bring your aimer back down slightly like that so if we just it's gone up bring it back down to about there and then carry on running so sliding shots are a big one like that perhaps not like that but as you can see I know it's just against bots but the, you get the idea if you slide it's the mobility it's changing levels from being high up to being low down and being able to maneuver around your opponent and it also gives you time while you're sliding to center on the enemy now if you just while sprinting if you if you kind of press the slide button it will do a long slide the way to come out of it quick people think is to um, press some people think is to press the slide button again then quickly press sprint so you keep running it's actually if you just slide and then press the aim button just tap the aim button see that like that so as I was showing there to come out of the slide quick you just press the aim button like so you don't have to actually scope in sometimes if you want to quickly get around a corner just do that it's good for movement like that just to take you out of the slide and then you can keep sprinting so we've looked at quick scoping, centering, um, stabilizing your shot at long range like so, uh, we've looked at drag scoping, jump shots, we've looked at leading your shots, we've looked at slide shots which also help with your movement um, and then the only other thing is sliding jump shots which is just practice because you know how to jump shot you know how to slide shot it's just putting the two together and practice is everything start off with bots just to get you warmed up 
like that there's a sliding jump shot yeah so start off with bots just to get you warmed up but the real practice is against actual players who are much better not just gonna lay down and let you land shots like that that's when the real practice comes in and I have no more bullets so the reason I did this other than PlayStation being down um, I uploaded a video that I said how to snipe this is how you snipe um, and some people thought it was a tutorial but it wasn't so I decided this will be a tutorial where I'll, I'll go over some of the shots and you can kind of see how a person who's never really sniped before and this is my first Call of Duty how they've improved and what I think is a good way to uh, snipe so try those out put it to the test and it to the test and eventually as you practice you'll be able to string all of those shots together and you'll be able to do a bit of everything and you'll, ref you'll have to trust your reflexes to pick which shot which shot to use at the time it all comes with practice so yeah if you enjoyed guys leave a like subscribe to the channel for more weekly videos and I'll catch you guys.